Hi, it's Susan Goldberg again. Today, I thought I'd share with you some of my favorite packing tips. I will show you how to get the most mileage out of what to pack and how to pack. The first and most important packing tip that I'd like to share with you are packing cubes. They are essential. You can get them on Amazon. They're cheap, they're durable, they're easy to use. They come in many different sizes. I never pack without them. In fact, everyone in my family has their own set of cubes. We use them for every trip. I take one cube, I take, let's say my workout clothes. I put all of my sports bras and my shorts, my tank tops in one cube. I zip it up and everything that I need for my workouts are in one cube. I do that with all of my clothes for each cube. Then I put them in my suitcase and when I get to my destination, I take each cube out, I unzip it, I put them right into the dresser. That way my clothes don't have to touch the dresser and I'm done. And then at the end of my trip, I zip them up and I put them in my suitcase. They also are great tools for all of your dirty clothes at the end of your trip. My second packing tip are versatile clothes. You want to choose clothes that you can wear during the day and at night. Clothes that you can dress down or dress up. Something like this cotton skirt. I might wear this skirt with flats during the day or heels at night. A basic white tee. I could wear this t-shirt three different times with three different outfits on my trip. You want to choose clothes that you can mix and match and wear over and over. I also love to take a jean jacket or a leather jacket that I can wear again during the day or at night. And my other secret with this is I always wear the jacket on the plane so it saves up the space in my suitcase. Let's talk shoes and bags. We love our shoes and bags, but that's also where we tend to overpack. So I say go neutral. Leave your red shoes at home. Pack shoes that you can wear with multiple outfits. I say no more than two pairs of shoes for the evening. And who doesn't love a great flat? You can wear your flats at night. Your sneakers, wear these on the plane. These are the bulkiest part and this takes up the most space in your suitcase. So wear your sneakers on the plane and if you have to pack them in your suitcase, use them as storage. Stuff your socks, stuff little things in there and use it as space. Our bags. Like Bethany, you always want to pack your bag in the dust cover so it protects the bag and protects the shape. But my little travel tip with bags or leave your big bags that you care about that you don't want to get ruined at home. I always like to take bags that are easy to fold, bags that won't get ruined in the suitcase that you could fold them, roll them, stuff them in, put them in a pocket, bags that you just you don't, are not going to get ruined. And any bags that I pack in, again, like my shoes, I use them as storage. I throw my socks in them underwear, any, anything that will not fit in the suitcase, that will not fit in my storage cubes, I put in my handbags. The carry-on bag. I always choose a carry-on bag that I can use throughout my trip. I not only use it on the plane, but I use it at the beach. I can use it during the day. I choose a bag that's big enough that I could put many things in them, such as my hats. I don't want my hats to go in my suitcase and lose their shape. So I take all of my hats and I put them inside of one another. So they not only save their shape, but it saves space. And I put them into my carry-on bag. I also take my jewelry. I put my jewelry, like Bethany, in these little pouches. I don't want my jewelry in my suitcase. If my suitcase gets lost, my jewelry gets lost. So I put the jewelry in another little bag. And in this bag, I put my important personal items, such as my license, my passport, credit cards, phone chargers, anything I need while I'm traveling and anything that I does not want to get lost. I put that in my carry-on bag as well. And the last little thing I take with me is a shawl. I take something that's lightweight, cute, that I can use on the plane if I get cold, but that I can also use on my trip in the evening. I can take it, I can put it in my carry-on bag, and that way I've got everything I need in my little bag and I'm ready for my trip. And my final travel tip is the blowout. If you're going on a short weekend trip, I say get your hair blown out. You can leave your hair products at home. It'll save space in your suitcase. You have more time to explore on your trip and you'll look fabulous while you're gone. 